Hi everyone, and thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'll show you how to easily create a progress bar in Microsoft Excel like this one, and it'll automatically update when values change. Let's get started. So I'll go to a new sheet here, and I'm gonna have values for complete and values for remaining, or you can call them something else if you'd like, done and pending or something like that. And then whatever percentage makes sense for you, we're gonna do 30% there. And then for remaining, I'll do an equals 100% minus whatever this value is. So both of them will change together. And make sure that you've got these formatted as percentages, which you can do with this button right here. Okay, and then select all of those cells, come up to insert, and I wanna go with a bar chart here. So click this button for column or bar, and then down at the bottom, more column charts. Select bar, and then I want a stacked bar, which will be either this one or this one, 100% stacked bar. I'm actually gonna go with this one so that it'll never extend beyond 100%. Since we're working with percentages, that makes sense. And then choose this one over here on the right. Say okay. And then I'm gonna change the colors. So click on the blue part here, come up to home. And I like this blue right here. You can choose whatever color you want though, obviously. And then I'll select the orange part and I'll go with a lighter blue. There we go. Green might also make sense. Green for done, yellow for pending, something like that. And then click on the completed part. So this part here that represents the 30%. Right click on that and say, add data labels. And that'll give you the 30%. You can just select that. And I'm gonna bump the font up on this something pretty large, maybe 36. I'll make it white as well. And I'm also gonna change the font type on this. You don't have to do this, but I like Sego UI. And then I'll bring the font down just a little bit. There we go. Okay, and then on the top right of the chart over here, you'll see a plus sign. This is for different chart elements. And we're just gonna clean things up, get rid of a whole bunch of elements. So deselect axes. We'll leave the chart title, which is this right here. If you don't want that there, you can get rid of it, obviously. Data labels, we're only using one for the completed. If you wanted data labels on both sides, you could select that, and that'll give you both, or you can deselect it. You won't have anything, but I think it's helpful to see at least the 30%. So I'll just do a Control Z to undo what I just did. There's our 30% back. And then I will deselect the grid lines and the legend. There we go, much cleaner. For chart title, you can just double click in here, give it whatever title you want, maybe project status, something like that. You can increase the size of the font here as well. You can move it down closer to the chart, resize the entire chart if you want. You might need to adjust your font size though if you do that. So that's really it as far as getting the progress bar set up. And now you'll see if you change your percentages over here. So say that we're 50% done now. And that updates. Maybe we're 75% of the way done. Looking good. So there you go. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, please hit that like button for me. And also check out my Excel playlist for other tips and tricks like this. Thank you so much for watching.